Friday's third video for you is first new story is from Amhara region. A top Amhara leader has been fired from the position of national security advisor. New national security advisor has been appointed. Second new story is from Oromia region where we are seeing support of newly announced uh, head of uh, Ethiopian Islamic Affairs Council. Uh, the Muslim organization has split into two groups. One is led by Mufti uh, Haji Umar Idris and the second faction is led by Haji Ibrahim. Aj Ibrahim is from Oromia and uh, Aj Umar is uh, from Amharian. A third new story is from Berlin, Germany, where a protest was held uh, against the ongoing military operation in Amhara region. Earlier, we reported a protest which happened in Tel Aviv, Israel, now Berlin, Germany. Uh, we have some pictures for you. And lastly, we have relatives of another Eretian uh, who was shown as uh, a member of uh, Eretian Defense Force by Tigray TV uh, have appeared on a news channel, a YouTube channel. They claim that uh, the person uh, shown uh, is not uh, a soldier. He was abducted from a village on Tigray Eretia water. We have some details for you about this POW as well. Tigray showed four POWs last week. Firstly, viewers, uh, breaking news is from Amhara region. Today, Ethiopian PM office uh, made some new appointments. And the most important uh, appointment is uh, uh, new National Security Advisor. Ridwan Hussain has been appointed as the new National Security Advisor. He was working as State Minister for Foreign Affairs since uh, December 2020. Now he'll work as National Security Advisor and he'll have rank of Minister as well. Who is he replacing? He is replacing Gado under Gacho viewers, top Amhara Prosperity Party leader, former Minister of Foreign Affairs. Gado under Gacho was appointed as National Security Advisor immediately after the start of Tigray conflict. It, he was appointed uh, National Security Advisor on the 4th of November 2020. Uh, and since uh, the start of Tigray conflict, he's been working as a National Security Advisor. But then we saw that uh, uh, two groups emerged in Amhara Prosperity Party. One was led by Damaki McConnell and the other was led by uh, Gado under Gacho. He was accompanied by... Uh, Sega Arage as well, who is leading uh, Ethiopian anti-corruption agency. And Sega Arage disclosed uh, uh, that uh, PP party leaders were involved in corruption, in financial irregularities. He wrote a letter to PP party, to National Action Board of Ethiopia as well. Uh, and then we saw Amhara uh, PP party elections uh, and Gado under Gacho could not be elected as a member of executive committee. He and uh, uh, Johannes Buyalio both could not be elected as uh, uh, PP party's executive committee. And after that, we saw that uh, security provided to Gado Nargachu and Johannes Puyalio was removed. And the two, especially Johannes Puyalio, uh, they uh, began criticizing Ethiopian government. Uh, 
uh, then we saw that PM Abhi specially spoke uh, against uh, Johannes Boyalo. Now, uh, Gado and Nergacho has been fired from his position. Gado and Nergacho spoke in support of Fano as well a few months ago. He had said that uh, Fano is uh, Amhara. Uh, when there were rumors that there could be disarmament campaign, there could be action against Fano. So back then he, he spoke in support of Fano. Now he has been removed from the position of National Security Advisor. Uh, it is a key development because those politicians in the Amhara region who are critical of Amhara regional government or Ethiopian federal government, they are being sidelined, they are being uh, pushed against the wall, they are being uh, fired from key positions. Uh, Johannes Buyalo has also been fired from a government position as well. Question is what will these politicians do? Uh, of course, they cannot start an armed resistance, they are politicians. What will they do? That remains to be seen but Gadon Gaccio has been fired from his position as National Security Advisor. A second story is from Oromia region where uh, uh, today was Friday and during Friday prayer uh, in some mosques, uh, Muslim clerics uh, spoke in support of uh, Haji Ibrahim Tofa. Haji Ibrahim Tofa is uh, new uh, chairman of Ethiopian Islamic Affairs Council. Around a week ago, uh, Mufti Haji Umar Idris, former uh, chairman of the organization was removed and new uh, chairman was announced. His name is Haji Ibrahim. A meeting was held, General Assembly of the organization in Sharatan Hotel Addis Ababa and uh, Haji Umadris was fired, who is from Amhara region, though he is still in control of main office of the organization. And then we saw some reports, some claims from Mufti Haji Umar Idris group that uh, government was behind this change, that government tried to pressurize uh, Haji Umar group uh, to accept this new uh, leadership. Haji Ibrahim is being backed by uh, Islamic Affairs Council's regional and district uh, units in Oromia. And Haji Umar Idris is being backed in Amhara region. Uh, today, uh, several clerics in Jema, in other parts of Ethiopia during Friday prayers uh, voiced their support for Haji Ibrahim. Splits are still there. Because. Uh, third new story is from Berlin, Germany where a demonstration was held uh, in support of Fano against uh, alleged genocide of Amharas uh, against ongoing military campaign in uh, the Amhara region. You can see uh, some pictures on your screen. The pictures are from Berlin, Germany. Similar protest was held in Tel Aviv, Israel as well. Uh, so. Uh, demonstrations have started against Ethiopian federal government, against PM Abi, uh, regarding the operation in Amhara. But these are very small uh, demonstrations. In Tel Aviv, in Berlin, you can see that just a few, a few dozen, uh, not even uh, a hundred, less than that, uh, persons, people were there in these demonstrations. Can these uh, protests have any impact? To such small uh, demonstrations. Lastly, was very important new story is about uh, Eritreans shown as uh, Eritrean POWs shown as members of Eritrean Defense Force by Tigray news channels last week. Last week, Tigray claimed that uh, it captured its forces had captured four uh, EDF members. Uh, who were involved in atrocities against Tigrayans in Tigray. Uh, the four uh, uh, POWs were shown on Tigray TV. 
عمر عثمان یب یو کیفلے سیمرے گیبرے واٹ ویلدو اینڈ گیبرو الزار ورشون بائی ٹگر آئی ٹی وی دین وی سو دیٹ برادر آف سیمرے گیبرے واٹ ویلدو اپیئرڈ آن سولو میڈیا اینڈ ہی سیڈ دیٹ ہز برادر واز مینٹلی چیلنجڈ ہی نیور انڈر ٹوک اینی ملٹری ٹریننگ Kiflom Gebrevoort Veldo had said that his brother Sam Gebrevoort Veldo was abducted from Shashabat village on Tigaira Tia border. Now relatives of any other uh, POW uh, uh, have appeared on a channel. Name of the channel is uh, RBL TV Entertainment. You can see the four POWs. First one is uh, Omar Usman. Second one is uh, Samre Gebre Wat Valdo. Third one is Gebro Elazar. And fourth one is Yibjo Kifle. Uh, number two, Samre Gebre Wat Valdo's brother has claimed that he's not a soldier. Now, Gebro Elazar's uncle has made similar claim. Gebro Elazar is number three in the line viewers. His uncle, who appeared on RBL TV Entertainment, says that uh, Gabriel Elazar was abducted from Shashabit village as well. Three youth were abducted by armed persons uh, and he is not a soldier of uh, Iratian Defense Force. No claims so far about uh, Yibyo Kifle and Omar Usman. by any Eritrean news source. So claims are being made about uh, Gebro Elazar and Samre Gebrevo that they are not EDF uh, soldiers. Tigray on the other hand says that these uh, were Eritrean spies and they were part of, uh, they are part of Eritrean, they are members of Eritrean Defense Force uh, and that the claims made by Eritrean news sources are false. I proposed in the previous video that uh, these POWs should be handed over to some independent impartial body like a Red Cross, some other body which can then determine the true identity of these POWs. Thank you for watching.